Hello, I'll be speaking for the next few minutes about vitrectomy, an important surgical procedure which is carried out for many conditions in the eye. Hello friends, I am Dr. Pratibha Hande. I am working as a vitro-retina surgeon for the last 15 years at Narayan Netralaya. Vitrectomy involves removal of the gel inside your eyes. This is done for several of the pathological conditions inside the eye, mainly for the retinal conditions. So vitrectomy, we'll just learn a little bit more about vitrectomy in the next few minutes. The gel inside your eye is important to a certain extent only. If the gel is clean and clear, you will see well. If the gel becomes infected or, it be or if bleeding develops into the gel, then the visibility reduces. So we intend to remove this gel and replace it with several substances. So let us know the anatomy of the eye to understand a little bit better about the vitrectomy. So this is the front of your eye. This is the front of the eye. And the white part of the eye, what you see, is the sclera. And the front part is a transparent structure called the cornea. Most of the cataract surgeries is done through the corneal or the junction between the cornea and the sclera, which we call it the limbus. Whereas vitrectomy is done from the, through the sclera, that white of the eye. So why do we have to do a little more posterior is because we want to reach the posterior chamber, that is the back side of your eye. This is the vitreous cavity. Here it is blank, but it is filled with a jelly substance. That is vitreous. This vitrectomy is done for various conditions, including retinal detachment. This yellow, yellow region, what you're seeing, is the retina. It's actually a transparent membrane, which can separate and starts floating in the vitreous. And this can lead to blindness. So this retina has to be pushed back to its original place. For that sake, vitrectomy is carried out. Vitrectomy is also carried out whenever this entire gel gets filled up with blood. That is called vitreous hemorrhage. This commonly happens in diabetic patients. It can also be done for several retinal conditions wherein there is a hole developing in the retina called a macular hole which causes uh, the central vision to come down. So to close this hole also, we might have to do a vitrectomy. Vitrectomy is also considered when certain membranes develop on the surface of this retina. So this membrane has to be removed to improve the vision. So likewise, we have multiple conditions in which removal of this gel becomes very crucial to find an access to the retina. As well as when the gel itself becomes opacified, we might have to remove it. So the gel removal is done through three folds or three incisions which are done through the white of the eye because we want to reach the back side of the eye. So this removal is called as, removal of this gel is called as vitrectomy. Vitrectomy is done with fine cutters which have a cutting rates of more than 10,000 per minute. So this makes the removal of the gel very safe because it's removed with a very fine uh, cutter and with very high cut rates. So now this gel, once it has been removed, it might have to be replaced with certain other substances. The most commonly used substance is usually a silicone oil or a gas bubble. So silicone oil, which is a viscous substance, is placed as a single bubble here in the back side of the eye. And once its uh, effect is done and the retina or the uh, retinal detachment is settled, we tend to remove this oil because oil doesn't get absorbed in the eye. So we again have to do another two pores or three pores and remove this, actively remove this oil from your eye. Suppose this gas bubble, I mean suppose the oil bubble is not required, we can use other substances that is gas bubble. This gas bubble gets absorbed by itself from the eye and there is no need for a second surgery to remove the gas bubble. So whether it's a gas bubble or an oil bubble or sometimes nothing at all, it can be just replaced with saline, this decision is taken by the surgeon on the table or he can have some idea about it before surgery itself and can explain to you. So vitrectomy as such is a surgery that is done for several of the retinal conditions and the uh, prognosis depends on what might be the retinal conditions 
and how good the retinal uh, cells are uh, working and also depends on the diabetic status of the individual and several other parameters. So, vitectomy is a single procedure which is done for various renal conditions and the outcome of this procedure mainly depends on the retinal condition. The procedure may take around one to one and a half to two hours depending on what the uh, pathological condition the retina is and subsequently the patient might be asked to maintain a face down position. This face down position is mainly advised because oil or gas tends to float in your eye. So when the patient, when, when you are actually in this position, the bubble may not actually give the maximum effect on the back side of your eye. So we might ask you to maintain the face down position wherein the bubble tends to float and then gives the maximum effect on the back side of your eye. So this face down position may be advised for you for a couple of days after the surgery depending on the condition and the medications for uh, after the vitrectomy may be advised for a period of four to six weeks. So depending on what your eye condition is, the various uh, outcomes can be expected. Thank you.